What's up, y'all? Happy Motivation Monday. Yeah, so real quick, I want to get into um, giving this brother um, a special shout out for making the cover of this magazine that I saw in a local restaurant last week. This brother here, is not, his name is Alfonso Bailey. Alfonso Bailey. He's better known by his rap moniker, Al Capone. Yeah, Al Capone. And he's one of the pioneers of the rap game in Memphis. You know, right along with 8-Ball and MJG. Actually, he was out before 8-Ball and MJG. He came out like in the early 90s. Early 90s. Like 1990. 1990, 1991. Yeah. So, uh... Now, what made me talk about, what made me do a video on this guy? Because we were over on uh, Virtuous Woman TV's channel, and she had special guests on her channel, Naker L and uh, Third War Columbia. And they were reviewing an interview that they did with Project Pat. And in the interview, they were talking about what made him decide to choose the name Project Pat and what inspired him to get into the rap game and who did he used to listen to growing up and uh, the neighborhood that he grew in, the side of Memphis that he, that he originally originated from and what did his parents think about his music with his father being a pastor and things like that and, uh, and then the conversation uh, evolved into uh, talking about Memphis rap artists in general. So it made me want, that made me think about doing a video like this here on YouTube. You know, since we had, we kind of had the conversation yesterday. And I want to make sure that this brother here gets his shine. He gets some, make sure he get his flowers while he's here. I want to do my part in giving this brother his flowers while he's here and, uh, because he most definitely hasn't gotten the notoriety and recognition that he deserves. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Because he had he's had an incredible amount of success on the underground scene. And he's been persevering and grinding and sticking with it for about I'll say a good 13 years before his big break came. Now, what would be his big break? This right here, what you're looking at right now. He is the writer of that Whoop That Trick song. Yep. That song that Terrence Howard did, Whoop That Trick. Yep. He's responsible for that. He's the writer of that song. He wrote that. Yeah, he, he pretty much coached Terrence Howard on how to um, do his delivery and things like that. And showed him how to do the bouncing that he was doing in the video, I mean in, in the movie yeah, and a lot of different other stuff that he showed him how to do yeah so so I say that to say that this is the end result of uh, sticking what you love to do and persevering despite the hardships and the um, hurdles and stumbling blocks that might be in your way because you know, dude grinded for maybe a little bit over 10 years before that movie dropped. Before they decided to film their movie in Memphis. I mean, the stars just aligned for him. And uh, when they decided to film their movie in Memphis, they needed, they needed um, extras and cameos and a soundtrack. And that's where he comes in at soundtrack the music he was right there he jumped at the opportunity he caught the ball he didn't drop the ball he took the ball ran with it took it on an end zone so much respect to Alfonso Bailey better known as Al Capone salute to him again you know because he most definitely deserves as much shine as some other artists in Memphis have been getting. 
namely DJ Paul, A Ball, MJG, and Project Pat, Yo Gotti, Young Dolph, Moneybag Yo, you know. You know, money wise, he should be right up there with them, you know. But I, I don't know his money situation, but still, you know. You can say. You know, cause uh cause three six mafia did use one of his beats for one of uh Project Pat's songs on that Getty Green album. Yeah, the, the song called Out There. Yeah, that, that's his beat. They got it from him. They got it from this guy right here, Al Capone. Alphonse Bailey. It's from an old mixtape that he did back in the early 90s. Back in 91, 92. Yep. They took that beat and put it on Project Pat's album without asking him. Now, I rock with, I rock with 3 Six Mafia, but they could have done that. They could have handled this in a better way. They could have handled it in a better way. They just didn't. They went about it the wrong way. That's all I'm going to say about that right now. But they did eventually. They did eventually reach out to him and put him on a verse on one of their uh, posse songs. Yeah, they call um, a song in which they got a lot of different rappers, artists rapping on it. They call them posse songs in which they got a lot of um, different people that's outside of their camp rapping on the song. Yeah. But they should have reached out to him a lot sooner than that, in my opinion. Because that was like on their last album. And it, but there's like two members left in the group then, you know. <laughs> but hey, what can I say? You know, it still worked out for him. And he, he got his flowers and kudos finally, you know. And I'm happy for that, you know. So salute to the brother, Alfonso Bailey. Also known as Al Capone, you know, a true Memphis legend in the game. Trailblazer, also. And um, that's all I got for right now. And I'll wrap with you all later. Peace.